so she was being very cautious in her words, you know? Cautious. Cautious. <laughs> cautious. Cautious. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I always teach, I always teach her words <laughs> wrong. Yes, right? What's up guys, John Anthony here with my lovely lady in Brazil and we wanted to give, oh we're rocking the new uh, John Anthony lifestyle apparel, <laughs> we bought her uh, a few different colors, I have white and black, so we'll be sporting these on some future videos. Um, okay, so we wanted to go over how we were able to pull a threesome from the mall and we wanted to go over uh, taking one down from Tinder. Okay, two new threesomes. We haven't done the exact count, but it's like 22 or 23 new threesomes since, when did we start? I started dating her in February, mm -hmm. and I think we had our first threesome in like... May? Or was it like May? Yeah. So in like six or seven months, we've had like 22 or 23 new threesomes. So, okay, the one in the mall, so we're walking around, right, with the pandemic and shit, like they have some limited bars and stuff like this open, but we were walking around and we saw a cute blonde chick, okay, working at a makeup store, and we were walking by, and I was like, this one, this one, she's like, let's get a coffee, because she's like, tell, tell, like, your, your viewpoint on, like, how I am in public, because she's, she's not used to, like, mass approaching, she was never cold approaching before me, and she had never had a threesome before me, and now she's had, like, more threesomes with girls than you have even slept with guys. Damn. <laughs> so tell, like, tell what it's like, like, when I'm, like, out in public and all that stuff. Like, girls, 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 girls. It's like, oh my god, you see a girl and he sees a girl and he's like, oh. it's like kind of like a lot, like too much. Sometimes. So, yeah, I'm like, I've conditioned myself. He gets myself. very excited about like when he sees a girl and like he goes to a pro and it's like, oh, we need to talk to her, we need to talk to her. And sometimes you're like even like walking down the street to talk to girls, which is so funny. Yeah, we did that today actually <laughs> on the street. Yeah. Um, actually, let's just tell the makeup story and then we could tell in a couple other videos. We can tell our two stories. So, um, so we see this girl, I'm like, let's approach her. I've just conditioned myself to approach like every single attractive girl I ever see in public. Okay, I have almost 13,000 phone numbers in my phone, which is a little bit ridiculous. Guys are like, are those all girls? And I'm like, yeah, 99.9%. .9%. Like I know other people besides random female strangers, but that makes up the majority of the 13,000 numbers. So, um, and I always tell guys, as a little side note, that you're gonna close at a high level about 10% of your phone numbers. Okay, so I recently just hit 1,300 lays, 1,300, and it's kept pretty steady to the 10% mark. And other advanced guys can confirm that as well. So what happened? Like, tell from your uh, point of view. So we walked past the girl, you were like, no, let's get coffee. We mm -hmm. sat down, we were drinking coffee, mm -hmm. and then we were just kind of like looking at her. Like, damn, we should fucking talk to her, right? Mm -hmm. We had our coffee, and then we went over, and what was like the opening thing? I think I asked her, is there like Black Friday specials? Because this was Yes, around. yes, it was like, um, yeah, it was like before Black Friday, right? It was like just after. No, no, yeah, just after Black Friday. And then you're like still asking, she was, no, there is no more deals for Black Friday, Friday. But she was kind of like being very sympathetic. So she kind of wanted to talk to us too. Um, and I remember like she was trying like to uh, talk to me like also because um, they were like talking like sharing information stuff and she was like trying to be cool to me too. Yeah. But she was like in, really uh, in, uh, like into us maybe. Like, well, she's, yeah, she was, like, like saying one, one big sign that like that struck me was she said you guys are a beautiful couple, right? So I were, it already seemed on, whenever they say anything like that. Plus we were both kind of like giving her the eyes, like, you know, we want to fuck you basically. So it was a short conversation, like four or five minutes, commenting about her tattoos. Like, I think she, I asked about the Black Friday thing, she starts saying whatever, and I'm like, oh, I like your tattoos, how many tattoos do you have? I'm usually commenting about the girl's appearance, you know, like different things having to do with what's going on with her. Then we said like, oh, where do you live? We live in this area, and she actually lives in the same area that we live in. So then we got her number. I said like, oh, we have parties and like, you know, barbecues and that, let me grab your number. And then the next piece is setting up logistics for the hangout. So I always ask, this is like shocking to her at first, you know, like explain, like basically I, I always say like, are you free tonight? And she's always like, oh my God, that's, that seems very forward. But you usually want to ask that because you want to see them as soon as possible. Like in door-to-door -door sales, um, I did door-to-door -door sales for a summer to see how it would translate into game stuff. 
And I heard that a statistic is the, the odds of the sale going down decrease by 50% per day. So you want to go for seeing the girl as fast as possible. Like you're constantly battling against time in the lead basically going colder as time passes. Okay. So whenever I'm like working tons of leads, you see like my schedule for that day is fully booked with girls. The next day is fully booked with girls. And then like maybe the next day it has like one or two, but not that much. You want to like heavy book, like the, the current day and the next day, usually about like 48 hours out. Okay. So you want to like try to see them within like two days. So she's like, Oh, I'm off at eight. I had my mentorship for the eight week mentorship program. I had that from, <clears throat> What was it from like eight Seven to nine? No, I think it was from eight to 10 because we hadn't changed the time yet. It was from eight to 10. I'm positive. So I had my mentorship from eight to 10. She gets off at eight and then she texts me around. Like I was like, what time are you almost like ready or whatever? She texts me around like closer to nine during my mentorship. Mm -hmm. And then I said, um, I'm like, or she texts me like, Oh, I'm just getting home. Like I'm a bit tired. Like can we meet another night? And that's just like, running into like a standard objection. So then my go-to answer when they say they're tired and she's like, I have to be up early too. I said, just come for a little bit. Promise we won't keep you up late, wink face. How soon can you be ready? So, and I'll make a separate video about this, but you can kind of like lock people into the frame by like putting a question in that frame afterwards. So a, a good one is how soon before you're ready? She like cut up this shirt. It came as like a t-shirt. <laughs> Wait, sit back like a little bit. She yes, like, yes. It like came as like a t-shirt and then she just like, butchered it yeah, all to it be like, like a, a <laughs> it's very hot this season of the year <laughs> yeah it's like it's like just mm -hmm. beginning summer now in brazil yeah it's like super super hot mm -hmm. i'm from new york and the seasons are like reversed so um she said like or i said like just come for a little bit promise because everything is about lowering compliance in my game as well so making it easier for her just come for a little bit um we promise not to keep you late right so now she doesn't need to be worried about staying up late um how soon can you be ready and then she's like She's like, all right, fine. I'll take a quick shower and then I'll come over. And she's like, smiley face, right? So then um, you got ready or like you were almost ready. Mm -hmm. And I told her like, I'm not gonna be done with my call yet. Just occupy when she gets here. So she texts when she's on the way, she gets here. My girl goes down, gets her. And um, I have like a wraparound balcony here in the penthouse. Mm -hmm. And she like, bro, I was still on my mentorship call. She brought the girl out. I was like busy still for like a half hour. She got here around like 9.30. I still have my mentorship call till 10. She brought the girl outside. I didn't even know what was going on out there. But I found out after the fact that you had kissed her already. So mm -hmm. do you want to talk about that part? Because I wasn't even out there for that part. Mm -hmm. So talk about that part, how, how oh. that went down. Okay, first of all, I was wearing the black thing. Oh, yeah. you were, she was wearing, it's basically like lingerie. Like a robe. It's, yeah, it's like a robe. But it was not like it was like silk, like yeah, yeah. But it was like very easy, sexual. Yeah. But you it were, was like all wearing... cover, all, all cover, but it was like a robe, like a black robe. But you were just like wearing that around the house, and you're like, should yeah. I change? Yeah. And I was like, no, just keep it like that. Yeah, I was just like wearing in the house, very comfortable, very nice. And then like John says, no, no, just go down, and like it would be, <laughs> it would be all fine. And then I went down. I took her back here, and she was just saying, oh my god, you look so. Uh, so amazing, so sexy, and I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, but that's not fair because, like, look at how you you came to talk me and like you're all sex, all this stuff, and like. But she looked that. good too. She was wearing like. Yeah, she looked good. She's like she petite blonde, like, like she had like no bra on, so like her tits were fucking like poking out. And yeah, shit. and she was uh, she was uh, very pretty, but she was like very into this, but she was kind of like afraid, you know of like uh, getting this wrong. So she was being very cautious in her words, you know? Cautious. Cautious. <laughs> cautious. Cautious. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I this always teach, one. I always teach her words <laughs> wrong. Yes, right? She mm. says, I am not native English speaker. I am trying to learn. No, she's good oh with English. God. But no. Almost a native speaker, baby. Oh my God. So tell, okay, so, so, mm. so you guys got here. I basically just said hi. I was like busy. She told me yeah. I was on a business call. Luckily, the girls speak English. They speak Portuguese here in Brazil. And so I was able to continue the mentorship. Mm -hmm. And then about she was like trying to be English. cautious. And then she was like very afraid because uh, since it's a couple, she was like, oh my God, maybe what if I kiss her and the, li the guy doesn't like or I think she was like in a lot of doubts in her, in her head, you know? Because she, everything that she was saying, she was trying to be very like. Uh, polite, very subtle, 
outside of you know not like making like you strong guys, moves but i saw then, you guys start taking like pictures and stuff outside yeah we started like hanging out talking normally like uh she was all oh, very nice view and say oh can i take some pictures of you like you look pretty so let's enjoy like that you look like so pretty and then like we started taking pictures and i'm like oh you look so pretty so beautiful and then like we end up kissing but after talking well, how did you end up kissing Oh, it was natural, like we were like kiss, uh, like talking about like how beautiful she was. She was like, oh, you're so nice. Nah, nah, nah. And then she was like afraid, but she was like kind of moving her body, you know, like normal. Like, like this. towards you. But yeah, I, know, I noticed like you, her. she gets like, when she talks to these girls, she gets like very close and like you hug them a lot and you're like, oh, you're so cute and like all this stuff. So it's easy. Yeah, but it's always <laughs> like, uh, it's low, you know. Natural progression. Yeah. It's natural. Like I will never kiss like someone, like or hug someone <laughs> if the person doesn't want to hug you. No. Yeah. That would be inconvenient. I don't like that. I like when it's like something that the person really wants. Like you see, like the eyes, like the person says, "Oh, that's so cool." Like and then you feel good to like to approach. Yeah. I don't like when it's like okay, so now kiss. Okay, so I I hate that. Like, I hate when it's like uh you know the. And yeah. you can kind of feel like you're feeling there. Like, <coughs> so even yeah, so boyfriend like, and girlfriend. So basically, like, like I didn't know that they had kissed yet. I finished my call, came outside. We were like all like hugging each other. Like she was saying, I looked good and stuff too. Or like mm -hmm. you know, just telling each other like, oh yeah, you're all looking. We're all looking good, all this mm -hmm. stuff. And then like it's I don't. Very chill. I don't remember who because I didn't know that you guys had kissed yet. We need like signals and shit so you can tell me when stuff's good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not. We're normally gonna be like both ready at the same time but this was a situation where I had my my call but I don't remember if I told her to kiss you a lot of times I'm like you guys are really sexy like you guys mm -hmm. you guys yeah, should yeah, kiss yeah, yeah. but you had a red kiss before so yeah and I think I either like, said that or I think I kissed her first or do you remember I don't even remember mm, I think you were like oh you're very sexy and she like she approached it like she was like Close to you also, and then the guy kiss, kiss and then after you kiss. Yeah, and then one, yeah, once one of us very, kisses, very, kisses like, one of our like, threesome girls motion. in front of the other person, then it's easy to just we well, start triple kissing and then take turns kissing, and then eventually I just like carried her in here. She's like a, a small chick. I carried her in here under the couch, mm -hmm. and then we're kissing here. I don't think you went to the bathroom to like fix your makeup, and then she mm -hmm. was like grabbing my dick when you came out and all this stuff. But then we ended up banging her for hours, and it was like one of our best threesome experiences. And we've had like 22 or 23. And this was just like was really good. same day day game pool. I always mm -hmm. say on my channel, I'm not that big of a day game fan, but with the with the nightclubs closed, with the pandemic, um, it is a good alternative. And we don't go out really to do day game. It's just if we're out, like today we had to go downtown and we're out on the street and we saw a pretty girl. Actually, we'll we'll save that for another video. But um, okay, so to recap, it was really see the girl, go in. The key things you're trying to. Um, accomplish in the interaction in the set as they call it is um, flirt okay so like she told us she was flirting with us too but we were mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. telling her she's pretty she's cute all this mm -hmm. stuff um, you know some people call that like intent I don't like that that word it's more just like you know showing that you're interested in, as more than like a platonic friend right mm -hmm, RST mm -hmm. calls it man to woman frame whatever so there was that part, then the next part is getting the number, the next part is framing the hangout and working out logistical details. What time are you off? What area do you live in? Can you hang out after work tonight? And she could, but if she couldn't, then are you free tomorrow? Are you free the next day? You want to hang out as soon as possible because that lead is going to get like colder and colder over time and then they're going to become unresponsive and then you missed your window. So in this case, she was free and then we just had to deal with that minor objection. Inexperienced guys in the game would see that as, oh, okay, she has to be up early and she's kind of tired, let's try a different night and then maybe you never get a chance to see her. So objections are very common, okay, just making it easier for them to comply with. Alright, so when she says like, I have to be up early, most guys are just going to like give up right there and be like, okay, I'll see her another day and then miss their chance, okay, instead, objections are very common, they happen almost every time, so you're just making it easier for her. You're just saying, okay, um, just come for a little bit we won't keep you late, wink face. And the wink face is kind of like, yes, we will keep you late, right? Um, but it's more of like a flirtatious thing. And then you're saying something like in the frame of meeting up again. How long will it take you to get ready, right? So you answer the objection and then talk in the frame again. That's kind of the, the structure. So, you know, sometimes I'll tell girls like, hey, we can hang out at my new place, see how the chemistry is. Do you need me to call you an Uber? Or when you're at the club, we can go and hang out after this 
what kind of alcohol do you like? She's like, oh, I like this and this. But you're not saying like, do you want to come? Or are you still down? You're not giving like, and the point isn't to, isn't to like, you know, give them no way out. It's just to speak in the language where it's more persuasive, where you're, where you're not letting that, that minor problem like stop you. So you're saying like, okay, you have to be up late, just come for a little bit. And she could have just come for a little bit and left, but she chose to stay for a while because she was having fun. But we made that possible for her by solving that little objection. So that's that. And then of course we do our standard practice afterwards. We put them into a group chat on WhatsApp. Everyone uses WhatsApp in Brazil. And then with like some kind of cute name, like Trace, which is three, like Bonitos or Trace, whatever. Trace Amigos, whatever the fuck. And then we just like keep building more rapport. We send pictures of us to the girl. We flirt with the girl, we stuff the next plans. We try to see them like once a week. So this is how we've set up a threesome rotation. Uh, stay tuned for the next video tomorrow where we, where we will go over how we just got a new girl off Tinder and we'll talk about some of the number close situations as well. So, do you have anything else to add? What's up? Yes. If you have interest in mastering the game from A to Z, click the link in the description. A free 30 minute call with me personally, I'll tell you how we can take you from wherever you're at in game to a very advanced level in eight weeks. It's a two month program. Guys are getting incredible results from it. Um, usually getting close to doubling their lifetime lay counts in two months, okay? But that only works if your lay count was like 10 or 15 or something like that. Um, but we do have guys signing up that are over 100 lay count as well. So um, don't hesitate to book that. We only have a couple spots left on that. Click the link in the description for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And stay tuned. Every day, new videos at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, we've stuck to that for the past week and a half or so and going to keep that up. So thank you so much for watching and thank we will you. see you on the next video. See you. With our brand new shirts. Cool. Okay. Nice. Take care. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.